My guest today is the Sith Vijay Sari Vardana. Was that close? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah that's Sith, how are you doing? I'm good, thank you. Good, good. Thanks for uh, having me. What do you do? I'm a senior software engineer in the CSC team. I've me been too. Well, uh, I've been uh, on with the CSC team for only six weeks now. I was in the Microsoft consultancy before mm -hmm. that. I've been in the .NET space ever since .NET came out. That's a long um, time. And uh, yeah, I've uh, uh, been mostly working in the distributed system space and it's a focus area of mine and uh, open telemetry, which I'm going to talk about today, is yes. something that's uh, kind of being a topic of discussion in, especially in the observable space recently. Okay, yeah. Uh, so uh, if I understand it, open telemetry is a way of doing uh, some standards around distributed tracing, right? That is correct. Can we start with the definition? What do, the, what do you mean we say distributed tracing? Right. So, in a in a distributed uh, system where you've got multiple pieces uh, processing a single request, um, you when in production you'd want to look at a single request as it traverses through your system. So, cutting out it's all the noise from all the other maybe millions of other requests that are going through the system and doing processing. Mm -hmm. So you want to have that focus on a single request as it traverses through your system and look at that in a way that you can have the contextual information for that request in a place as well as the dependencies. That's broadly what distributed tracing is. Okay. Um, and in context of modern uh, software system design, we are building a lot more distributed systems now than right. we did, let's say, 10 years ago. Because there's a trend running. towards microservices. Exactly. And they're all running in the cloud. Uh, they're maybe having different technology stacks, uh, running uh, in mixed scenarios where it's hybrid and some components on the cloud. And we need a way of a single way, a single world view of looking at the telemetry data coming out of right. all of the systems. So I think I think of the use case of something went wrong with the request, and we want to just trace that single request through lots of different systems as they talk to each other it, and exactly. figure out you know what what preceded the error because usually it's not the error didn't occur when we yeah. when we observed it it was somewhere upstream. Exactly, <laughs> and the traditional way of doing this has been looking through your logs, yeah. but there's two two problems with that. One is not every everyone has a single log aggregation system. Right. Not everything ends up in the same place. And secondly, how do you uh, filter out a single request? Right. Do you have a correlation ID? Those are complexities that are that aren't trivial in a production system. Right. Uh, and open telemetry kind of uh, has a opinionated way of solving this issue. Okay. So. Uh, uh, opinion uh, it addresses this issue. Yeah. Um, what's what is open telemetry? Is it a piece of software? Is it a service that's running? Is it uh, a standard? What? Right. Open telemetry is a set of standards, SDKs, and tools. Um, mm -hmm. The the core part is a standard which uh, advocates for how you should have a that correlation ID. In this case, what we call it a trace ID. Okay. It's a bit more. Uh, advanced than just a correlation ID. It, ha it has contextual. It's a way of tying context between what they uh, between your pieces that make up the distributed system, oh. and it's got information about how you pass additional contextual information from, let's say, one system to the other. That the technical term for it is called contextual propagation, hmm. um, and that's a, that, that the naming of those let's say HTTP headers and the name, how a trace ID gets constructed, those things are defined by open telemetry standards. Okay. Then there's the SDKs. So uh, open telemetry team um, um, builds and maintains in open so, uh, as open source projects, mm -hmm. all the SDKs. So the major languages like uh, uh, .NET, Go, uh, Python, um, Java, all of the frameworks, they provide 
SDKs for those that adhere to the standards that they've uh, agreed on. And additionally, they also support tooling, observability tooling, um, and connect connectivity to those tooling from the open telemetry collectors to the ultimate uh, reporting endpoints. Okay, there's a couple things you mentioned there. The standards, uh, what are the standards covers? You did mention the correlation ID, but yeah. is there more to it that is part of the standards? Yes, uh, so uh, HTTP header names uh, is one. Uh, so uh, there's multiple multiple things around header names that align to something. There's something called the W3C uh, trace Global context. Yeah, uh, there's a W3C trace context, hmm. uh, which feeds into how open telemetry context propagation works. So that's a standard that they uh, advocate for in there and they uh, define in open telemetry. Um, and also, uh, uh, the trace ID, there's a standard in which uh, a c certain number of bytes in the trace ID are reserved for the parent, a certain number is reserved for the child, and mm. as they traverse across your system, you'll see them get populated, the tra trace ID get populated, and that's how it maintains the parent-child relationship uh, between dependencies. Okay. Is, um, is HTTP the, the default mechanism for sending this information? Um, not really. You can use any mechanism. Um, if you're using HTTP, the W3C uh, trace context is a popular, popular approach. But if you're using, a, let's say, you're directly writing something to a message queue, mm -hmm. you can still put your trace IDs and your uh, things like your uh, terminology that comes up is baggage. You can put those things in a message in the message queue. Mm -hmm hydrate it when it goes to the queue and when you retrieve it you can read the read the message and then set the um, set the context the trace context in your own framework your own library using the information there but they for most of the popular libraries it's okay. already instrumented but if you're using something custom, some form of custom protocol, it's up to you to then uh, insert and extract that uh, information from the sender and the receiver. That sounds like too much work. <laughs> right. Uh, you said something called collectors. What are the so uh, collectors is a term that uh, Open Telemetry uses in, in its architecture to uh, define something uh, that collects the telemetry data. Okay. So, uh, taking a simple example, a collector uh, would uh, be a process, uh, would be running in the same process or as a sidecar. Um, sidecar? Uh, as a sidecar is a, a second, secondary process that runs alongside okay. your main application. So, any, um, any uh, application logs, metrics uh, or baggage gets sent to the collector. Uh, uh, in a standardized way and the collector is then responsible for forwarding that to uh, another collector or uh, um, exporting exporter uh, another term exporter is a, um, a piece that um, uh, is responsible for forwarding telemetry to a um, telemetry collecting endpoint which is like a tool like for example Azure Monitor or Jaeger or Prometheus or some a tool of your choice, basically. Okay, and these tools, uh, they, they would persist that tracing information to some back-end database. Some. Yeah, in, in its own um, own format, it would save it, and your ops team would probably have opinion about what telemetry collecting uh, software you use. Uh, the idea is you participate in what your uh, ops team is already doing. You don't have to worry about what that tool is as long as you adhere to open telemetry standards. It's very likely that the tool of your choice already supports ingesting okay. open telemetry data. Does open telemetry say anything about uh, the reporting of the data or the querying of the data? Not really. It's, it's only uh, its job is to get the data from your application and your services to the collector. Exactly. Oh, okay. Uh, and, and it does so very in an opinionated way. Mm -hmm. uh, but those things, uh, the the data formats and the way data is forwarded, is driving a lot of um, features on those um, uh, end tools 
on how data is queried because they uh, in the in before open telemetry in the old days they we didn't have as much rich information coming in mm -hmm. so that governed how you would query and visualize data right. now that we're getting this rich information and rich details about what's happening in your system those tools are able to give you a lot more yeah. so th it's a interesting ecosystem right now yeah i have some looked at some of the logging tools in azure and uh, the, the, like the querying of those is really powerful and provides yep. a lot of information. But it's only as powerful as the data that you actually collect. Correct. <laughs> yeah, so that's why it's important that um, you adhere to a standardized way of co collecting the data. Um, at the end of the day, um, there's, uh, there's this um, problem of you're not built, you're basically standing on the shoulders of giants when you build software. There's open source libraries that you're using while you're building your software. And when something goes wrong, you want to make, you can't treat those open source libraries as uh, black boxes. You need to uh, instruct and make, have a way of those libraries participating in the same telemetry collecting, uh, uh, I guess, worldview as everything else in your system. Right. And by o using open telemetry, you can opt in. You can at any point say, oh, SQL Server driver, please opt in to my open telemetry uh, collecting mm -hmm. and SQL Server driver or, your, for example, your .NET HTTP client will start emitting its own internal telemetry in the open, st open telemetry way mm -hmm. and you can see that as well. So it's really powerful. Interesting. Um, if somebody's new to this concept, what's, uh, what's a good place to go start learning about it? Um, I think the open telemetry, um, open telemetry uh, GitHub um, is a good place to start because they've okay. got links to uh, different SDKs in each, depending on the language of your choice. Mm -hmm. The SDK has samples to suit different scenarios, whether it's a service invocation, HTTP to HTTP, or a custom, um, custom instrumentation, for example, RabbitMQ. When when I was looking at RabbitMQ. It didn't come with the standard instrumentation at the time. Yeah. I'm, I'm sure it's someone's implemented it now, but they had an example on how you could do it with a custom instrumentation, uh, like I spoke before. Um, so there are good samples in, the, I mainly work with .NET, so the .NET SDK has some very good samples. Excellent. It's all maintained on GitHub as open source. You yes. Can uh, download it for free. Contribute to it if you're really ambitious. Yep. Um, documentation is certainly the area where there's a lot of scope for contribution. Right. Um, if you read it, don't understand anything. Uh, understand something. Uh, ask. Ask in the. There's a, a CNF, CNCF uh, uh, Cloud Native Computing Foundation. Uh, Slack channel. There's a there's a channel for open telemetry. There, hmm. jump in there, ask questions, and if there if there's clarification required, up, uh, create a PR to update the Docker. Excellent. Is, is there anything on this topic we should have talked about that we have not? Um, maybe the maybe why this is uh, open telemetry and observability is. Uh, um, uh, important topic in 2022. Yeah. Um, the from what I've gathered, talking to folks in the industry, is that we are in the second wave of cloud uh, cloud migration. In uh, so 10 years ago, we were putting everything in VMs, and we were um, slowly getting up entire applications running in a um, cloud-hosted environment. Now, mm -hmm. now we're uh, way past that. We're taking we're decomposing those applications into distributed systems right. and people want to quickly diagnose a problem when something happens in the cloud and that's why the focus on observability systems and good teams generally have good observability on the systems that they maintain and build. Uh, I think what I heard you saying is that uh, it wasn't that long ago when we had one application and that has been now been transferred into many services that talk to each other. And which is great, but it provides this challenge that you talk about. Now we have to coordinate uh, the, the, the tracing among those applications. Exactly, and uh, remember that many pieces of application mean, could mean many teams, different technology stacks, yes. uh, running in a uh, heterogeneous environment. So 
that's why we need a single worldview when it comes to telemetry. Excellent. Well, Sith, it's been really a pleasure talking to you, and I've learned a lot. Thank you, David. Thanks well, a lot. Thanks for inviting me. In the modern technology landscape, uh, distributed systems dominate. And when something goes wrong in production, good observability is a must. So friends don't let friends build distributed systems without open telemetry in 2022.